Snestrunk. Hey everyone, welcome back to Snestrunk Plays Final Fights, and we have another bonus level here, except this one I totally suck at. It's not as fun as beating up a car with your bare hands. <laughs> and this one, <laughs> you get your ass kicked by panes of glass, I guess. Yeah, I don't really, don't really care for this bonus stage. And, uh, yeah, no bonus for you. Oh well. Anyway, as you can see, as we'll see right here, Cody has zero lives. So that means it's time to head to a continue and switch guys, because it's pointless to keep going when we're just going to die anyway. Now it's time to say goodnight. Good night, sleep tight. Nah, I'll save him. <laughs> and yeah, we might as well switch to Hagger, I guess. Should I switch to Hagger? Yeah, what the hell, who cares. I'm not as good with Hagger because he's not very fast. Like, he, he kind of lumbers along. He's got nice pants, though. So Hagger slacks. By the way, I do need to say um, I, one more note about the backstory of this game I find amusing is that Mike Hager here is a uh, hey free guy already. Mike Hager is a um, former Street Fighter, according to the game's you know story or whatever, and something compels him to get into politics. Not only to get into politics, but to get elected mayor. It's like, you know the kind of shit you gotta pull to be a freaking mayor? You can't just, like, punch and kick your way to being a mayor, you know what I mean? Like, this is an odd, odd career choice. Let me try and pull off the, uh, oh, fuck you. See, he's not fast enough to counterpunch these guys like Cody is. I'm trying to do the super flying pile driver, but these guys keep fucking me up. There we go. See, that's what he does. You grab him, headbutt him in the chest. There we go. It's a little obscured by the uh, one-way sign there, but that's okay. And his punches sound different, which is always cool. Oh, I'm an idiot. What was I doing? I knew that was going to fall, and I still fucking walked underneath it like a moron. Ooh, wow. Good thing that's there. Good thing the chandelier barbecue is there. You know, I don't know about you, but I always keep extra snacks and stuff and light fixtures. Anyway, like start like the Star Fox Let's Play. I tried to take a look at the um Whoa. Take that. Like the Star Fox playthrough, I tried to um look at the instruction book for this game to see if there is any you know, any useful information. There's not, there is jack shit in the Final Fight instruction book. Nothing at all. Like, it's one of those, like, really, like, instruction books for complete morons. It's like, <coughs> excuse me. It's like, on the, on the start screen, where it says press start, press the start button on your controller. It's like, one of those kind of things. Boy, I'm really not doing too well here, am I? Jesus. God, see, this is why Hagger sucks, but I'm still gonna try and... This is the last stage of the game, so this could potentially be the finale of this Let's Play. And so we're in s some kind of fancy condominium, I think? We take the elevator up to... Yeah, this is like the roof of this building. It's a penthouse. We get bowled over by big fat guys. See, he's just not as smooth, not as fast to flip between the two guys. So it doesn't matter now because I, because I killed him, but like that. See, that's that's the advantage of Hagger, obviously, is that you can get rid of these freaking annoying punks in like a couple hits. Or three hits or so, yeah. And I just need to knock him down one more time, and he's fucked. Goodbye. Pretty posh place, this, uh... I think the final villain's name is, uh... Final boss's name is, uh... Belger? Belger? Belzer? Richard Belzer? Uh, I don't know. 
Pretty, pretty big ass pool there. God, I am getting destroyed. This sucks. I don't like Hagger. I just don't. I like Cody a lot more. This is a mistake. Take that, Endore. Boy, that pool just keeps going back there, doesn't it? And there's nobody in it. What a waste. There we go. There we go. Just keep doing German suplexes to him. Whoa, look out. Don't tell me I'm dead. Fuck. I'm getting... Hagger sucks in this game. Not gonna lie. Maybe... No, it's... I'm, why am I blaming the game? It's obviously me that sucks. I'm just not used to playing as Hagger, but he's just so dang slow. Like, it's so... Like, his punches, there's so many gaps... Like, yeah, he's stronger, but Jesus, like, he's so vulner vulnerable. Oh, you know what? Let's have another pool in the background. One of them's not enough. We need two ginormous pools. <laughs> pools. Maybe those are, like, parking lots. Because you don't see the water moving. It looks pretty flat. Looks like it could be pavement. Yeah, let's put parking lots on the top of my penthouse building. While I suplex these guys into their own Molotov cocktails. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> I regret nothing as I walk into my own fire. I was going to say, maybe this is like the Flintstones, where it's just the repeating background over and over. But no, it looks like we're at the front door of his palatial estate here. Yeah. Now, I think behind these... Uh, I don't remember where they are exactly, but behind these pillars, I'll see if I can get them. Uh, as soon as I clear these guys out. There's power-ups sometimes. Not power-ups, but like items that get you points, which of course get you extra lives. Um, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like... No, there's nothing underneath that one. I don't think, anyway. They're hard to detect. Oh, here's another chandelier. Don't die. Thank you. Hey, gold bars. And a free guy. Thank you. I'll be needing that. Yeah, these guys and the and 2P and uh, and uh, J are the biggest pain in the ass when you're Hagger because they're so quick and you're so freaking slow. Yeah, but Hagger can do that. Even if that guy just totally no sold my pile driver, like he's the Undertaker or something. Curry? That didn't look like Curry. It looked like a freaking hubcap. Oh yeah, flying pile driver. See, that's the appeal of Hagger. Flying pile driver landing on somebody else. But the thing is, is that look at that. He just totally punched the knife out of my hand. Like that would never happen if it were Cody. Fuck you. I'm trying to see it. What are those paintings on the hallway back there? Boy, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, and I'm looking at the backgrounds here. Kind of an odd choice for uh, wallpaper there too. I'm assuming those are that's gold trim and stuff like that. Uh, here we've got the oh here we go we've got the samurai sword that should help thing that should, <laughs> and two of them that'd be sweet if you could wield two of them at the same time like katana second level boss that'd be awesome. All right this should speed things up. Yeah, this is probably going to be another long episode here. Probably over 15 minutes. Because we're still a ways away from the final boss. <laughs> just, oh, I see you have a samurai sword. I'm going to try and fight you anyway. I'm just going to just kind of lumber towards you. Awkwardly. Whoa, look out. Didn't even see that. Wasn't paying attention. See, I should stop blaming Hager for my troubles when it's really me. I'm really... <clears throat> My voice is starting to go because I'm talking so much. I don't usually talk this much. So I'm just going to not talk for a while. No, I'm just kidding. That would be a terrible Let's Play if I just sat here. Wouldn't that be creepy if somebody did a Let's Play and they only talked, like, once every five minutes? It'd be, like, startling. Like, whoa, there's somebody there. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let's take a look at the... Since this guy is boring me. Let's, uh... Is there any other info here on the... 
the Super Nintendo Guide. By the way, I highly recommend checking out the Super NES Player's Guide. I'll put a link to the video. I had no idea this thing had this much detail about this game's backstory. I know I've gone on and on about that now, but it is really... Like, I've, you know, it's one of those things, you play the game 20 years and you never realize, like, oh, they actually thought about this stuff. Like, like the Andorre family fortune. I'll never get over that. Like, let's see if there's anything about the big fat guys. These guys are human steamrollers. Watch out. Yeah, there's pretty generic stuff here. They're not related, it doesn't seem like. Yeah, out of the way, Axel. Yeah, it basically says, there's not much difference between this guy and this guy. Yeah, nothing there about those guys. That's disappointing. I was hoping they'd be like, I don't know. Like they owned a ramen shop together or something like that. Aw, oh, what? That's cheap. Got rid of that knife for no reason. <coughs> yeah, if there's a fault to this game, it's that these stages are needlessly, especially the later stages, are needlessly long. My god. Alright, let's hope this gets me... Nope. Zeroing in on that extra life, though. Do you guys out there, whoever's watching this, do you guys say extra life, or do you say free guy, or do you say one up? Like, what's your terminology to, to the five people listening to this? <laughs> um, another friend of mine says always says one up, um, and he says that's like a Sega thing, I guess, and where I was a Nintendo thing, and free guy. If you're a Nintendo kid, you're more liable to say free guy. I don't know if there's any anything to that really but it's just oh yeah and in case oh my god in case you didn't get sick of these guys the last level here they come again from the fucking ceiling at least this one makes sense there's a ceiling to drop from whereas the other time it's it's literally they're falling from the sky hey, that pile driver got me a free guy that's pretty cool like, maybe there was a helicopter they were dropping from last time? I don't know. Boy, I desperately need a power-up, and these guys... Come on, just enough already. Give me some nice knives, though. Nice cutlery here. I should make a Final Fight cooking game. You cook as these guys, and use the knives that Hollywood and Elgato drop to chop onions and stuff. What the hell am I talking about? I've been talking way too long. All right, now, yeah, see, there's nothing behind that one. Maybe I'm just missing it. I don't know. I, I, I needed to get that barrel. No, there's nothing under these. There's usually, like, a diamond or something like that, something that gives you a lot of points. Maybe I'm not going high enough. Get these guys out of the way. No, there's nothing here. There we go. Now I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh, well, whatever. No, nothing under this one either. Ah, shit. Maybe it's up further, maybe it's closer to the... Why is the sky purple? The sky is like a fuchsia color. Is that just the window tinting, maybe? That's kind of goofy. Yeah, there's... There we go! There's a diamond. Maybe it's up further. I'm just missing him. Ah, damn it. Well, is six guys going to be enough to beat these, to beat the final boss? We'll find out. I don't know. Where he's coming up here. Oh my god, I suck. Wow. Whoa, that was spontaneous. I did not expect to do that. I need a barrel here. Really need a barrel here. Give me some of that barrel barbecue. Why does Andori need such a big... Oh, shit. What hit me? Oh, that asshole hit me. Fuck you. Take it. Eat a pile driver. Damn it. What? What? Why does Andori need such a giant wallet chain anyway? Is that to imply his his fortune? His, his massive circus winnings? Or monies? 
Or is it really just like a stylistic choice? Like Dory just walked into Hot Topic like... Oh yeah, that was badass. See that's... You do have those badass moments with Hagar. Right? You're just mashing buttons because <laughs> you've been playing this game for so long. Oh, nothing under here, really? Nothing? You gotta give me something. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Yes! Out of my way, motherfuckers. Oh, that's a lifesaver. Literally. I think the bo boss is in the next room, the next section. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, suddenly it went from a very clear, nice day outside. Now it's like overcast and purple. Okay, I've seen a... Not cool. So maybe we're walking past some industrial area or something. Uh, I wonder how many... It'd be pretty cool if this game kept a tally of how many guys you, you eliminate. I think Final Fight 1 for the Game Boy Advance, the remake of this game for Game Boy Advance, does that. Anything back here? No? No? Here we go, final boss time. It is Belger. A rolling wheelchair and you just gotta grab him and kick his ass. He has a gun though. It's like a dart gun. Or is that a crossbow? I can't even tell what that is. And he is a massive pain in the ass to fight. And he even fights, he even shoots his own guys. like that. With his knees still bent. What is wrong with this guy? Oh. Anyway, you can't just beat this guy. Uh-oh, shit. Three guys. Grab him, grab him. There we go. Oh, I can't do a pile driver to him? Are you kidding? That's some bullshit. Yeah, you can't just beat this guy. You Yeah, you can't do a pile driver to him. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh. See, this is what happens. You get freaking stuck, and he just keeps shooting at you. And that's not... Oh, that was a mistake. All right, three guys to go. Can I do it? Yeah, fuck you, 2P. Oh, not Andorre. God damn it. This sucks, as you get not just, like, the 2P and J and those guys. You get fucking Andorre back here. Come on. I think I got him trapped here. Oh, and he shot me. Yeah, he's shooting arrows. Shit. There we go. There we go. Got life down on him. Oh, and he shot me in the back like a rat. You gotta knock him through that window. Oh, shit. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. Oh, come on. Why didn't you hit Billy? Whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, Billy. Oh no, I'm gonna... No! Choke job of the century! No! No! The choke job of the century! I gotta end the episode. Am I gonna continue? Am I gonna save H Hager? Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.